Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video, based on a lot of requests that you guys did, uh, you wanted to know how to send an address from your phone to your Garmin device so that you can navigate to the device uh, from your phone. This comes in handy if your navigation is mounted on your windshield in a big motorhome or a, or a big truck which isn't reachable. Uh, you could simply, you know, take your phone and enter the address or look up the address in the map and send it to your Garmin to navigate. Okay, so here's how we do it. This is possible with select Garmin models. Not all models will support this feature. So I'm using a Garmin uh, uh, drive see I, I I said Garmin it turned on I'm using uh, let me turn off the mic by the way this has a mic right here that you can turn off now the microphone is off you press and hold uh, I'm using Garmin uh, drive 65 let me show you exactly the model number drive smart 65 uh, with MT which is with Amazon Alexa this one has an Alexa. Anyways, so I'm sending uh, an address from here to here. The red bar means the mic is off. That's all it is. Uh, and the reason I have I just turned on the uh, turned off the mic is so that my uh, verbal speech will not activate things on this. So first, you need to download this app, which is called Garmin Drive. Once you download the app, you click on that app and you could either go to your contacts uh, or you could simply um, type in where you want to go to. So let's say I want to go to a place. Um, let's say I want to go to McDonald's for lack of a better place. So McDonald's. Now, the closest McDonald's to me is this one. So, you want to read which one. Let's say I want to choose this one, not the closest one, the one after that. And then I click on Go. Okay? Now, this has been sent to this device. And now, this is seeking satellite to go to that McDonald's. And uh, basically, the McDonald's is somewhere in Hamasha Boulevard there. And if you go back right here, let me go back. See the stop? The stop means if the, if there is no route, there wouldn't be stop highlighted. The stop would be this color. It would be like that, like grayed out. When there is an active route, then you have the stop activated. So that's what, uh, for, uh, right now I uh, cancel that. I'm going to send another place to, to teach you. Uh, so let's say I'm going to... Uh, uh, Rancho San Diego AAA, that's right there. I, I was I entered that earlier. Let's go. I'm, uh, I'm going to Las Vegas. Okay. Las Vegas. So let's go to North Las Vegas or uh, let's go to North Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. Ready? Click. It's 261 miles. Go. Now it's acquiring satellite, but the address has been already sent to this. Since I brought this GPS inside my office in, in a video shooting studio, uh, it's indoors, so it doesn't have satellite signals. But if it did, it would start the navigation and we would be on our way. Now, what if I want to punch in the address manually? So where I want to go to, I'll punch in the address man manually. Let's say... The address is 2344 uh, Broadway, let's say Broadway, B or Broadway, 2344 Broadway, San Diego. That, I just came up with that address. I don't even know where that is, if it exists or what have you. So now I'm going to click go. Okay. So the address has been sent here. However, Currently, I have a, a route, so it added to that route. So that's one thing that you need to know, because if you have more than one route, 
then you could add additional route or stop a route or and what have you now let me cross this and stop this now I clear that route and I'm going to put um, that Broadway address again and go and there it is now it's already ready to go now the same goes with your contact addresses if you want to add a contact address so here's how you do that in order to go to the address uh, of your contacts first you have to click on the device that you have whichever device you have and then you go to the settings now you go to that device and sync contacts enable contact sync allow so now the contacts are sync to that and now you can navigate from your contacts all right go to your contacts so I'm gonna do Bob Stahl uh, Chevrolet Bob Stahl the, that one Bob Stahl Chevrolet dealership in La Mesa I click on that so that's their address in order to go to that uh, to share this uh, with my Garmin I go at the bottom share click on share contact and then click on Garmin Drive send it went to this now this is going to be navigating to the uh, Chevy dealership and that's how you do it from your contacts so yeah it's a pretty handy feature to have so you don't have to reach to your Garmin every time you try to enter an address I hope this was educational please make sure to like and subscribe Thank you for watching.